Thanks for watching Tied Up in Sydney, back with a brand new knot. It's called the Sail Knot. Bit of a story. Had a follower post a photo onto my timeline and said, mate, I really like this knot. Can you give us the name? Can you tell me how to tie it? And I didn't have a lot to go on, so at first I just recreated the knot based on how I would tie it, the steps that I would take to get a similar look, and this is the result of that effort. After I tied the knot, I did go and I found the original. It happened to be a picture from Boris Mocha. He's also known as the Juggernaut. And you can find him on YouTube. The original video is called the Mocha Formal Number no. 9. Now, his method of getting a, a look very, very much like this one is very different from mine. So I decided to move ahead with the tutorial. And I did put this out to my followers as well on Instagram and Facebook and said, uh, guys, if you like it, let me know. Uh, give, me a, give me a name suggestion. And one of my followers suggested the sail knot. Couldn't agree more. It looks just like a billowing sail, and I just got back from Croatia, so in my head, still sailing the Adriatic. So without further ado, I'll take it down, and I'll show you how to tie it. I'm going to tie this tie with the tail of the necktie. So it starts with the blade on my right-hand side, and lengthwise, I'm going to set it just above the top of my belt buckle. At the end, I'll adjust a little bit, and then you'll have the tip of the necktie right at the very center of your belt buckle, so it'll have the perfect length for you. So you get to set that length first, make your crease, and pull it into the center, and you're going to follow the exact same steps that you'd be doing if you were tying uh, a full Windsor necktie knot. So you bring the tail over the front and come through the center. Back on your right-hand side, around the back of the tie, and then down through the center and back out to your right hand side. From here you're draping it right across the front, coming back out through the center, and you're going to drop that down through the loop you've created. Many of you might recognize this as the morel knot. Pulling that tight. From here I just take the tail, I'm going to turn it, basically just folding it in half and twisting it so that the tips of the tail are pointing towards my right shoulder and the back is towards my left. With my left hand, I'm going to pull it over to the left side and pull it around behind the knot. And then the tail is just going to drape up across the top of the face of the necktie knot, so it makes it kind of look like the sash of a beauty queen. That was the other option I was toying with for a name with this knot, uh, the, uh, the Miss Universe knot. So feel free to use that name if you like it better. Otherwise, go with the sail knot. And I'm just tucking the tail behind just to get it out of the way. And with your layers, you just want to play with it a little bit. You want to get that billowing look. Okay, and you don't you want it to be more up on the corner. Okay. And then the last bit is just the final adjustment. So you pinch the pinch the tie and just pull up on your knot a little bit just to cinch it up. Get rid of any gap. Once the collar's down, you are ready for the day. That is the sail knot, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. I'd love to see your comments down below. And if you're enjoying the content, please subscribe.